you know, uh, it's pretty uh, challenging standing in a room that uh, from the view of C-SPAN is uh, filled, but I can tell you right now that it's uh, just you and me, Madam Speaker, as well as my colleague from the Sunshine State, Representative Rutherford behind me, as well as some of our fantastic staff here on the House floor. You know, I, I think it's time that we, we stop playing these partisan games and really come together because this truly is a bipartisan issue. This is a, an issue that affects our communities as a whole. And I think if we are going to call for responsibility for actions and words, we should start in this chamber. I actually, I, I have a quote here that I wanted to read from one of our colleagues. It says, quote, I'm going to make sure that I have security because I have had attempts on my life and I have too much work to do. There are too many people that need help right now. If I end up spending $200,000, if I spend $10 more on it, you know what? I get to be here to do the work. So suck it up. Defunding the police has to happen. We need to defund the police and put that money into social safety nets because we are trying to save lives. Madam Speaker, those are your words. See, when I was homeless about a decade ago, I wasn't privileged enough to have $200,000 to spend on private security. In fact, it was a comfort knowing that at any moment in some of the toughest situations that were happening around us, violence, abuse, that a quick call to 911 would result in someone coming to help. We had nothing but the reassurance that on the other end of that line, someone was coming to help. Someone was willing to answer the call. I know that there is far more in this country that unites us than divides us. But I cannot tell you how disappointed I am as we have stood here for the last hour reciting stories of heroism, of selflessness. If I had time, I would recite the names of our fallen officers, but I simply haven't enough time and quite frankly, Madam Speaker, you haven't even looked up off your phone. To Americans who are watching this, know that there are people in this Congress who do give a damn, who will look up off their phone, who are not too bothered to listen. We will not stop fighting. We will continue to back the blue. And with that, Madam Speaker, I yield back.